Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, this is about, I don't know, the uh, 2900th uh, portion of the um, Dell Latitude E6530 saga. Well, um, <laughs> so this has been interesting. I have Windows 7 on here, which is... Windows plus M. What in the... Oh. Escape. Hold on. Hold on. Desktop is like really screwy. So you know what? I'm going to. Um. What in the world? Oh. That's maybe because. Hold on. I've got some sort of. Crappy key describer mode on. What the hell? Alright. Yeah, I do for now. Somehow, somehow I turned. <laughs> Whoops. Somehow, um. So that guy's was NVDA. This is my. Um. This is actually a, uh, a free screen reader that blind people can, can, um, use. Um. It's an open source project that's created in Python by the, um. Uh, the non uh, non visual access group, and it's very 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 handy. I might add, I really like it, especially for situations like this where when you install Windows for the first time, you don't have a screen reader. So it's very 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 helpful. Um, however, I turned key describer mode on, so it wasn't working. So um, or something wasn't working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn NVDA back on. So the, I actually have the portable installation right now. So it's e colon, whoops, backslash NVDA dot exe. If I can type properly. There we go. And I'm not going to do that silly. Now what I'm going to do... I don't know why that... I don't know why that's reading my keystrokes, but that's really kind of annoying. So... Okay, so I'm gonna go to Tools. Where is it? Oh, come on. Oh. Install NVDA. So, okay, so this is on my flash drive, um, and uh, it's actually a generic flash drive that I got at a... I want to say... Boston area Windows Server user group meeting? Anyway, I don't remember. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this configuration from this flash drive and I'm going to install it as it is. So in other words, all the add-ons and everything. So I'm going to install it on this computer. Um, so you guys might see that, which would be cool. Actually, I'm going to check that because I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do. Um, okay. Yeah, you know what? I will because I want to copy that. You always want to copy. Um... Oh, crap. Hold on. I got a user account control thing. So, uh, well, that's going. You guys can watch it, but I'm actually going to talk about what I'm going to be doing next. So, as a result, as you saw in my previous video, Winstaller kind of um, kind of screwed me over. I'm not going to lie. I never, but you know, I should have known better than to uh, use a beta version anyway. That that was my bad. Um, but still, it'll be worth testing, and hence uh, why you guys are going to get to see. In fact, all of my Winstaller tests on film, I'm going to document them on my YouTube channel, um, both to help promote the developer's work and so that you can see how blind people install Windows in like various different types of environments. So that should be interesting. Um, so yeah. I think, uh, I think you guys will like my next... Um, my next couple of videos, and then, oh yeah, and then you can't forget setting up the server, uh, well, servers, I should say, because I have the Dell PowerEdge, which I'm going to be installing Windows Server 2012 R2 on, and then I have the Dell Dimension E510, which is about a seven-year-old computer. I got that thing 
in about uh, circa 2006, I want to say. Um, so circa 2006, so that was seven years ago? Yay. All right. So now I'm going to hit OK on this. And then it's going to stop the one that's on the flash drive. And I don't know why. Hold on a second. I need to turn off key echo. That's driving me... That is driving me absolutely bananas. I totally forgot about this. So I'm going to go to the NVDA preferences. And... Whoops. Oh. This, 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 I forget which one it is, but okay. Um... Darn. What the heck is that? I've never even heard of that. Okay. So... Well, that's cool. Document formatting is cool. But I'm not going to fool with it because that's not what I care about right now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, so hold on. I'm going to do general because I... I think it's in here. Whoa. It's kind of loud. Hold on. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Oops, I do want to check that because I want that to start automatically. Yeah, I do actually. I don't really care. change anything. So, so yeah, so this is um, this is what blind people have to do when they get a new installer. We have to kind of configure things and then I'm going to install some drivers and stuff like that. And then um, after that I'll show you box starter running on this thing. But um, you remember I think I showed you in a previous video how to install box starter. Well, you're actually going to get to see it run, which is going to be really cool. And it's going to configure like all my Windows updates and stuff, and you could see it run. That'll be pretty awesome. But right now I'm working on trying to get this um, uh, what you call it, key echo shut off because this thing's driving me crazy. Uh, that doesn't really help me very much. All right. So, must be in the. Oh, okay, good. Sure. Uh, I, want, I don't want it doing that. So. 
Oh, <laughs> that's that's why it was speaking up arrow down arrow because because the speak command keys was checked. Object. All right, so let's uncheck this. That's not checked. Okay. Good. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. So I changed that. So let's go into this um, DVD drive. Let's go into Windows for a second. What is that? I don't have no idea. There we go. So. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I didn't take the flash drive out. That's why. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. Because I think. What is this? Okay, never mind. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, what is this? Let me right click. Let me right click on it. Open it. What is this? Yeah, zip files. What is this? I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. Um. Okay. Um. I will be right back because I um am going to get a couple of things really quickly, and then um I will be back for another segment because. I need to run this to get some of these applications and stuff on here, so um, I'll be back. Whoops, shoot.